Now, although there's a couple of different ways that we can create hold down bolt sets, um, such as my tool in the APC config, this way I'll show you the old fashioned way or the manual way for creating hold down bolt sets using the PowerPro structures. Now this can be adapted to either the layered or the uh, power product, but I'm going to start with a base plate on a column here, as you can see. Um, it's a good reference point for us to start with is we can snap to this base plate. So if you're using the power product, we're going to, I'm going to get you to check one of your settings. So go to uh, workspace preferences. This is just for the power product. Um, input. And with the locate interiors, by default, it'll be set to always. I want you to change it to never. Okay. Um, that allows us to snap right through an object. So if I just set a smart line up here, you can see I can go right through all the objects and I can snap to the other side, which is really useful. We're going to make a smart line or polyline if you're using the AutoCAD one. If you're using a smart line in the power product, um, make your corners rounded. Okay, we can do this on the fly, uh, set it to rounded. And it's really important that we make a radius that is um, more than half of the object diameter. So you never end up with a square corner. Okay, so I'm going to snap to the um, center of the top of my plate. Um, e will set my AccuJaw focal point. Um, I'm just going to go lock it up and down. I'm going to go half the distance, uh, sorry, I'm going to add the distance of the plate plus the grout plus however deep I want to go. So add uh, 20 mil for the plate plus the grout. Um, um, will take me to about 610 um, down. I'm going to come across again. I'm going to lock my um, plane and snap it back to the whole center. In AutoCAD, you're going to have to uh, type in the dimension. You can see in the power product here, it puts little radiuses in the corner and back up to the hole. All right, so all I've done is just do a smart line or a polyline. Okay, in this shape that I'd like the object. Here it is here, that's the, the finished object. Um, I want to poke a bit of threaded bar coming out the top. Okay, so I'm just going to extend this line up. I'm just going to just drag it up. Um, so it's 40 mil longer in this instance. Again, grab it and I'm going to drag it up 40 mil. Okay, so that's my finished uh, smart line slash polyline. Um, that goes right through the plate, plus 40 mil. I'm going to go to my shapes. Now, I'd just be quick to add here that we can either um, have a user shape, or if you don't have a user shape as threaded bar, um, we can go to a uh, round bar, which I'm going to do here. Please um, just ensure that we select by the center line. And this is one of the only instances I'm going to insert a shape on a line. Okay, and so I do it um, on objects that have to follow a line. You can see there that it just follows around nicely. I've got little radiuses in the corner and so forth. Okay, tick OK to get out of that. Um, the next thing that we'll probably do is I'll put it on the right level. Um, in the Australian build, we have a dedicated level for hold down bolts. So you can do that exactly the same method in uh, AutoCAD or um, power product, so PSHD bolt, and just makes the HD bolt stuff stand out from the rest of the structure, which is very good for isolating stuff and so forth. My next step is um, we need some nuts on that, uh, presentation wise. So ensure that the nut size 8.8 .8 in this instance, but the nut diameter or bolt diameter is the same as the threaded bar that I want to put in. So in this instance, 20 mil, and I insert a nut washer only. With this button here. Okay, um, using my snaps, I'm going to snap to the center of this hole. So just grab the center snap here. And if you have a look down on the on the command line of either either product here, um, enter the direction of the imaginary bolt head. So the imaginary bolt head would be down in this instance, giving me the nut. Okay, I'm going to do exactly the same, and I'm going to go from the underside this time. And the imaginary bolt head would be the other direction. Okay. 
Now you can either do it again the second time or in this instance here I'm just going to copy it. Okay. Simple as that. Um, the next thing I do for preference is I remove my ECS axes from this and the ECS axes really in this instance don't control the way that my object is detailed so I'm just going to go to the layout take my ECS axis off which is very helpful for how objects detail show, show me how they detail so um, it just uh, makes a bit of a mess on hold down bolts and I'm just going to copy this from the center of that whole set over to the center of the next set over. Simple as that. Okay. Beautiful. Um, I want to put some tie bars in across here. Um, quite often I call up just a 10mm round bar, but you can use flat bar of course as well. So wh whatever it is that your fabricator wants. Uh, just for ease in this instance, I'm going to change my insert point uh, just to get this job done nice and quick. Again, it won't reflect on the detailing. And I just want to go from sort of the middle of the outside face to just, just center to center, essentially. So I'll just rotate that around. I uh, just need to check. Yep, that's gone the right way. And then move it up or down. I, I normally go about 50 mil up from the bottom. I'll, I'll move that in a sec. Okay. Just remove, I might remove the ECS axis from that. Again, I, I really don't care how it's detailed, I just need it to get it out on a material list. So. Make sure we put that on the same level as well before I copy it, because I'm just going to copy these around now. I'm not going to redraw them over and over. Okay, so let's go uh, object view centered, just, just so I can see sort of what... Um... Oh, no, I'll move that up instead. I'll go, I think it's going to be easier if I go object view centered. It's a little bit easier to see this way, how, um, how, how, the, how the, where the object sits. Um, but I, I move them about 50 mil up from the bottom and I want to plonk one up the top here. So um, just as easy just to copy this guy up. And um, I'll place him just, just down set into the concrete. So let's run it about about 400 yeah that looks good uh, next thing is um, copy rotate a lot of people would mirror I, I love copy rotate it's it's um, pretty easy so I'm just going to grab these two and I'm going to rotate them off the center of the column um, in the power product uh, in the power product, I can rotate these. I can make a copy at the same time and I can just rotate it by a set angle. So I'll just set this to active angle, say 180, and make a copy uh, based on the center of the column. That's exactly what I'm after. And the final part of the job, that looks good. Final part of the job is to, um, let's make a group of that set. Okay, so that... Um, it becomes effectively a group. So I'm going to make one of the U-bolts a main part and we'll just grab the rest of the objects here as subparts of that group. Okay, um, that's, the, that's our end result. That's our hold down bolt set. Um, you could have tie bars running back the other way too if you wanted to. Um, generally, I don't. I just, I just sort of keep the the, the pair together. Um, is how I like it to present. Um, it just comes down to how your fabricators want it. Um, from there, you can just copy that group. Do do uh, pro steel group copy around the job like I've I've already done. Now while we're at it, um, I'll just quickly show you how we rename these. So uh, I'll just do it on one of them. Just go to parts list data, data, and instead of 20 mil round, which is what we used, um, we can rename this to anything we want. So in this instance, I call mine M20 all thread, which is what it is here in Australia. 
um, with two nuts uh, and two washes. Okay, so so two n plus two w. So so two nuts, two washes, something something like something along those lines. Um, and I'll just set my material grade to either 4.6 or 8.8, 8.8 in this instance. Okay, so um, you can just copy that around to different objects or you can select multiple objects too. Okay, so hopefully that'll help you out.